Hello! In this video, you will learn how to customize certificates. If you are already in iClickandPrint.net, you click on Customize, Geographic Stationery, Certificates. If you have a product number, an item number you can find on the back of your package on top of the barcode, you can enter that product number or you can enter a keyword. Let's say I'm looking for a Classic Red Certificate. I'm just going to enter classic red and then I'll be able to choose my item number based on what the label says. Usually the last six digits contain five digits that are the item number without the last one. So if you look here, you can see very well where you can locate your item number. So I found my item here. I'm going to choose the landscape and start uh, customizing my certificates. Let's see, here I am. Now, on the right side, you have three main tabs that you can use. The edit contains all the editing tools that include the hover over fonts, you will see them. The preview new page shows you the page and the merge will help you merge data uh, so you can obtain multiple certificates very easily uh, and very fast. On the left side, you have templates that can help you tremendously when uh, it comes to pre-made items. So here you can choose from a word certificates, diplomas. You can uh, choose suggested wording, but not here. Probably we can use that for other events. And here we can maybe choose clip art for words and recognition, word art, and so forth. So I would say with templates at this point, I, I will demonstrate a diploma. So I will just click on this and maybe choose a school, elementary school diploma. I'm gonna choose this template to use. As you can see, we have almost everything here. Now, if I go back, I'm gonna introduce you also to the top menu, back button, new project, will uh, upload the same project, but from scratch. Undo, will undo the last few actions that you took. The zoom will zoom in and out, of course. The grid will show you some direction or where to align things to the left, right, or center. Here you can upload logo of your school. Uh, QR code is not necessary. Brush probably not. But the text box, if you want to add a new text box, here it is. You can enter text in it by double clicking, deleting the actual text and entering some other text. And I'm going to just delete this box. Or you can enter your own arched text. Let's say you want to say diploma in a very nice way. We on the right side have a lot of very nice fonts and you can enter your text and perhaps you can get a very nice font that would make your diploma stand out. On the other hand, you can use the clip art here. As you can see, you may have many choices in the diploma. As you can see, you have a Head Start Diploma that you can uh, choose or not. You can, uh, in fact, you can choose here a lot of pre-made, very nice clip art for headings. Uh, you can just take a look. Uh, let's see, the awards have a lot of very nice different things, but since I was in the diploma, I better stick with it. Let's see, where is the diploma? Here's the certificates. Here are the diploma. So I have a generic diploma. Oh, I love this one, so I'm going to use this. Okay, here you have customization instructions. This will tell you what to do, how to do it, so I'm just going to delete it for now. I'm just going to put my diploma header here. I'm just going to increase the size. Since this is an image, I can make it bigger or smaller. And I can just put it here. Here I can upload my own uh, logo. If I want, I can just click on image, upload the logo of my school, or just type the school name right here. Uh, enter the text, and let's say um, Summers Middle School. Okay, so since I have only one text, I just uh, I can hover over the fonts so I can change the fonts the way I think would look best. I can keep on going, scroll down, 
and uh, play around see what what works best so let's see i can choose the baroque i'm just gonna click out of it so i can sit on this and if i increase the size of the box it's not going to change the text because we can add different types different styles of text inside one box for example i can change only the school uh, font make it bigger smaller different color so we allow this multiple customization in a box so if i wanted to make the summer's middle school larger i would just go on the font and let's uh, increase it to 29 or maybe 30 this will increase it to 30 and if i don't like it and i don't want to go down and click on uh, the number i can just make it 40 directly in the box and click outside of it now if i uh, want to make it bigger i just drag it and so i can adjust the box right here and this looks a little bit too big this is too big so i'm gonna just make it smaller 